so today I would like to show you how to scale uh, your reinforced learning algorithm. Uh, in, in my previous video I used uh, uh, multiprocessing uh, to create uh, multi multiple uh, environment and then I trained this agent but it is not working correctly because my network, neural network couldn't update uh, um, weight uh, inside an, in a neural network asynchronously. So we need to find uh, another approach how to realize it and because um, for example when we run uh, 10 process, parallel process and we need to, to update our neural network it's like a brain uh, synchronously yep. and uh, um, to, to implement uh, this feature I used uh, I'm using uh, Ray so this is a, a framework uh, to scale uh, your machine learning uh, algorithm uh, so it's working with uh, TensorFlow or PyTorch in my case uh, I'm using uh, TensorFlow so I would like to show you how to implement uh, this feature. Uh, so first of all, uh, you see uh, how it's working. So I run this stuff as using this uh, my command line. For example, I would like to uh, tra train reinforced learning algorithm on tw uh, twelve uh, episodes, and then I run it. I using Bitcoin USDT. Uh, so you see, for example, episode number four, seven, five, uh, six, uh, and uh, we train in parallel uh, all this stuff, and uh, we update our neural network uh, correctly. So how to implement this one? So I'm using train function, and inside this train function, um, so we import our array. And uh, this one we parse uh, argument from our uh, command line, and then we need to update uh, our brain, yeah, it's our neural network. And for this reason, I create uh, like a shared brain. It means uh, a common brain within all processing. And using this uh, decorate decorator uh, to call Ray remote, and then I create uh, this class uh, shared brain using this stuff I create my neural network. Let's look in quickly. What is it? You see? Oh, this is some stupid brain. It's a more uh, complicated neural network. I'll explain it later uh, in pre uh, in next video um, because I have a different approach how to create neural network. You see, sometimes we have some very complicated brain but uh, for me it's like some uh, simple but it is uh, very nice uh, to test all this one okay so i create this share brain and then i create some train episode of wrapper uh, to call this uh, local brain and then i input this stuff in my inside my agent because inside my agent uh, this model reinforced learning of dqn and then um, I create uh, this uh, common bra brain, uh, it means a neural network. Uh, and let's look in. You see this uh, brain ref, implement the stuff. So also I import this array and call this one array get. This a common brain here. You see? Yeah, another part of code, it would be uh, the same. Yep, it is the same. And it means, uh, um, you see, when I create this agent, I uh, import to our uh, train episode. And uh, inside in this uh, agent, uh, we have a common neural network to update all this, uh, all this stuff. And then, for example, we uh, call our uh, main function, you see, and we pass uh, all this uh, argument, then uh, we init uh, our array and then we create this uh, share brain and then we uh, calculate how many 
episodes uh, we must run and then we train um, our episodes this is we call this uh, function and then we call remote and input all the stuff like uh, what is the argument what is the episode and what is the share and this is some comprehensive um, list and we call the uh, we call the uh, our training process and we return uh, a list of uh, results of our process and let's look in uh, an additional what is the train function i mean uh, this one Ins uh, inside in this uh, train function um, i create a data collector to store this, all this uh, data to uh, csv file and then we go through all this uh, data and we calculate what is the reward what is the state what is the action and we update our agent so you see uh, we remember the stuff and then we we'll update our policy and then yeah if we done our process uh, we clear our memory and store this information to uh, this uh, file okay and let's look in yeah of course and we do a uh, replay means we're training our uh, we're training our agent uh, using this uh, batch size let's look in this agent i would like to show you the replay function uh, you see this one it's a Bellman equation inside here and uh, we just uh, train all the stuff okay uh, so let's come back to our train function again and right now uh, you see I create uh, uh, several clusters in my laptop uh, to, tra uh, to train uh, my algorithm but I can create uh, multiple server for example I can init uh, some node um, node server and connect to this node server another server yeah and it means uh, I can create uh, very big uh, clusters uh, and there I can train uh, all my algorithm inside in this uh, in these clusters uh, because uh, training process it could be take uh, too many days and uh, we can parallel all this stuff okay so I show you uh, how it's working okay you see when I run this one uh, then we do initialization our uh, neural network and then we create array instance and we need to wait okay it takes some time so, because uh, uh, we create uh, clusters on, the, on my laptop but um, I'm going to implement on this on the remote server okay you see okay let's go episode number one episode number four and we train all this stuff but I would like to show you results uh, so I train this uh, algorithm on a small piece of data and because I need to make sure this is working and you see uh, after several episodes uh, we can generate uh, some profit yeah, so if you want to implement uh, some big reinforced learning algorithm uh, you could use a library array it's a very cool library and you can create uh, really something big okay guys i hope uh, this video will be useful for you and uh, next time i show you uh, my an another uh, agent uh, and explain you um, how to build a neural network see you bye